2 Ezra 9, 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like is all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Shai, by Shem Rakakradash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than never. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Aquas that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to start trying to do a weekly, not daily, but maybe a weekly series called the TikTok Corner. Um, where I just play these little short TikTok clips. And then, uh, and then align them with the scriptures, with the prophecies. Um, there's so much information coming out, and we we truly are in the in the uh, the last moments of the last days. So we're gonna start with this uh, this video right here. Okay. Actually, we'll probably just play them both back to back. So here we go. So let me get this straight. Netflix is going broke, Disney is going broke, CNN Plus just got canceled, and Musk just took over Twitter. And now you no longer have to wear face masks on public transportation. And you still think nothing is happening? Wait till you see what happens next. It's going to be a doozy. So and we've been telling you that, you know? Um, because I'm going to touch on some destruction of more food supplies and being that the world uh, has about a 90-day uh, food supply. I also saw a video yesterday. Um, I would profile it, but I, I can't remember who sent it to me. And I got a lot of subscribers on TikTok. Um, but basically, it, it, it was breaking down uh, um, how this guy was checking the uh, radar and, and the tracking of the ships. And he and he was, you know, explaining how the, the ships that leave the east leave China to come to America, bringing supplies and things like that. I usually... Uh, you know, minutes apart, like, you know, maybe 30, 20 minutes apart as they come over by the hundreds. It's only two and they're 15 hours apart. So they were 400 like kilometers away from each other. So, you know, something, something, this is why I read the scriptures that I read, right? Because not only do you have these crazy weather patterns, you have the, the uproars of the people around the world. You have the wars and the rumors of wars all sorts of political unrest and then you have a uh, 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 social unrest between the races it's just so much going on which prophesied to happen in the last days man and then so much evil being propagated all right so much and um i i was just speaking as a man you know thinking that that and it looks like i could be right that after july the 4th because i know that's the biggest money holiday for the whole summer as far as movie releases and, and parties and you know and, and different celebrations 4th of July is a big you know is is a big deal uh here in Babylon and i assume that uh and now they're already talking about new variants you know more plagues uh you you got these weird bugs that are uh that are around America that the guy and i'm going to see if i can find that and play a short clip on that and um but nevertheless, the way it's looking, the food supply is going to completely run out uh, either by the, the uh, late midsummer or toward the end of the summer. So we could be in absolute chaos. All right. Uh, the, 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 the Israelis have dropped the dollar and other European countries have dropped the dollar. And, and um, 
Putin has threatened to cut people people off uh, allies to America from their oil if they were to push forward with these sanctions. And it's just it's a big mess, man. But let's let's continue. Let us continue. One more. Occasions of call weren't statistically getting abortions at higher rates than minorities. This wouldn't be an issue. John Angry would be. And again. Occasions of call weren't statistically getting abortions at higher rates than minorities. This wouldn't be an issue. One more. John Angry would be. Occasions of call weren't statistically. Now notice that. That's going to be my new thing right there. If the occasions of call weren't statistically getting abortions at a higher rate than minorities. It wouldn't be an issue. And that's distraction news. This whole argument about that. But you have to think about it, man. They're already the minority. And that's the real reason why these uh, these these Democrats and stuff are, are, are uproars about uh, saving the babies. They don't give a damn about children. All right. Don't think that, that, that child support is, is for the state. It tells you. To, and as a matter of fact, there's no such thing as child support. That's that's uh, that's committing a, a serious fraud. All right. When you look into the, you know, someone's going to open their mouth and say something stupid and haven't done any research. But you will find out that it even says in their own bylaws that, that uh, Title 4D, which is a true name of child support, is was uh, was set up to to fund the state treasury. It was never intended for the for the welfare, the benefit of the child. All right. At all. They don't care about children. If they cared about children, they wouldn't spray all this stuff in the air and put all this stuff in their foods and and, and put all this stuff in their bodies that uh has been proven to to you know mess with their minds and their growth and their development all right so the, yeah these people don't care about children and they wouldn't be sacrificing them and doing all the other things that they do to them but they play to the emotions of the unlearned and the and the and the sleep you know and the, the children the babies the babies no adrenochrome that's what they're worried about all right but let's uh and the reason that's important is that the American people have no idea, really no idea, about the immensity of the threat in space. And I've made this comment in a classified setting that I wish the American people could be present in this room. Not this room, but the skiff. Because our adversaries know what they are doing. We know what they are doing. They so the adversaries here, he's referring to what the world ignorantly calls UFOs or IFOs. All right. And those are the chairs of Israel. That is the, that is the Lord's uh, Air Force. And guess what? The elect down here on Earth are the Lord's ground forces. And... What what has Esau so shook is the fact that he knows that once the chariots come, the ground forces will be activated, meaning what? Then they will be changed. They're going to get lifted up. So let's go into some scriptures to substantiate some of that. And then we're going to then I'm going to come re revisit this video and play it again. But let's go to. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Because this kind of covers both subjects. Both the Air Force of, of you know, the, uh, the air support of Yahweh and his ground forces, his armies, the Lord of Sabaoth, all right, which are the armies of Israel, which are here on earth in captivity and, and in a, in a worm-like state. But they're going to be made uh, uh, immortal lions in a minute, all right? But this is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, and it reads, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. So number one, the chariots show up and start uh, beaming up. Scotty, bring me up and, and beam me up. And, and Scott, by the way, means black. Swarthy, just like the Scotland means land of the blacks. All right, swarthy. Just, you know, so Scotty beamed me up. They they knew what they were doing when they did that. Okay. Now let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, 
And this is all being done through the spirit, unplanned, unsolicited, all through the spirit. First uh, Corinthians 15. Yeah, 51. And it reads, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not we shall not all sleep. All right. Not all of us are going to die. OK, because some of us are going to be martyred. All right. And some of us are going to be lifted. And those that are martyred are going to be lifted up. <laughs> and and whew, <laughs> it's not going to be you're not going to be happy with them when you see them again. Those that you do slaughter. But it says, but the slaughtering of them is what's going to set these events off. All right. Because once everybody is uh, forced to, uh, uh, you know, take that, that, that when they start forcing people to, to take that uh, engineered um, technical upgrade against their will so they can buy and sell, you know, that's, that's what's going to set it off. All right. And because it says how the, some of the elect will be martyred, you know, will be beheaded. You know, the scriptures say he saw the, 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 the spirits of those who were beheaded for his name's sake. All right. But it says, uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 51, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all, we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sign, sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall all be changed. So those who get martyred are going to get lifted up and then we all shall be changed. All right. For this incorruptible must put on the incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So we're going to be incorruptible, perfect in the law. We won't have to go to the scriptures and open up the Bible uh, uh, to read and search and find a scripture and remember the scripture. We won't have to do that anymore because it's going to be in, within our inward parts. And we're going to be made perfect. So we'll never sin again. Therefore, we will never fall again. And our kingdom will be one that is everlasting forever and ever and even forever. All right. And it says, so when this corruptible have put on in, in corruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass. Then shall it be brought to pass saying that it is written, death is swallowed up in victory. All right. So and that's exactly what's going to happen because we were meant to be mortal, immortal in the first place. But through the sin of a woman, through the sin of Eve, we all died. All right. And we all die now as a, as a result of that sin. OK, so let's go back to and this is why the strangers of this salvation is going to mess them up. So in the head. All right. So back to wisdom of Solomon. Uh, five and. Uh, I'm going to start at verse two again. And it says, and when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for, because the chariots are going to to uh, come for the elect and the elect are going to be made immortal. Then you're going to have your real X-Men, your real Avengers, your real Justice League and all that sort of thing. Then you're going to see people, uh, the you know, the Israelites doing things that you that you put in your movies. Greater than you're going to see bright burns all over the place. You know, greater than Superman, men flying up and, and getting in the pathway of, 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 of planes and, you know, and, 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 uh, vocab Heyman, no precepts Malone made fun of a brother. Cause he said he's going to be throwing tanks like the Hulk. Yeah, well they will. All right. And no, and because Isaiah 54 and 17 must and will come to pass. And that's, uh, 4 and 17 and it reads no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me see if Yahweh. so our righteousness is of Yahweh. so every so every every video do you delete it every every uh member of the elect not only not only we're gonna get vengeance for the elect we're gonna even get vengeance for the two-thirds because they're still Israelites. <laughs> you know, the Lord is like that. The Lord, you know, the Lord will allow Esau to put his hand on, on Jake and there's punishment to Jake. But then the Lord will still turn around and punish you for putting your hands on Jake. Because why? That's still the apple of his eye. See, his ways are higher than your ways. It was right at the 144 mark when I said that I looked up and saw it. But uh, let's go back to this video. And, um, and we'll end it there. Because I got... Because so, I got a ton of videos, so I'm going to start it at the beginning and let it play out. 
So here we go. And the reason that's important is that the American people have no idea. Oh, by the way, I was on a survival video and before it came on, this gas mask popped up. Because that's what the time is in. They're, you know, urban survival. All right. A Mike Force podcast was what I was about to play. And why? Because people are going to be trying to survive out here. So every so everything that I've said is leading up to this time where people are going to be trying to find things like that. And this one is kind of cool, too, because it's even got the uh, the camel thing. So you can hook hook it up to the mask without taking it off to drink. All right. And I also go to show you if if a, a mask is useless, if it doesn't cover your eyes and ears as well. See, because if you're wearing a mask with, with just your nose and mouth cover, your eyes and ears are portals and openings. And, you know, so to, for, to be protected for anything that's airborne, you need a mask like this. Really no idea about the immensity of the threat in space. And I've made this comment in a classified setting that I wish the American people could be present in this room. Not this room, but the skiff. Because our adversaries know what they are doing. We know what they are doing. They know we know what they are doing. But the American people have no idea. They don't. And, and they so scoff and laugh and make fun. This points. discussion and debate will have... But this room full of elites, they're nervous because they know and understand. Senator Senator Richard Blumenthal, all right, he's a small hatter and he knows his time is up and he's afraid. And the rest of you, if you knew any better, if you weren't so stupid, you'd be afraid too. Very little interest. on in a level of, forgive me, bureaucratic language that most Americans would have trouble seeing an immediacy in their daily lives. But if they were privy to what we hear, and you know it much better than we do because you live it, I think they'd be pretty alarmed. Uh, and uh, this is not by way of criticism of you because you're living with the strictures of what is classified and not, but uh, I think we have a, a real obligation to explain to the American hmm. people why space is a domain that matters why the threats there are real and urgent why they are growing in importance Look so at them. I think we all agree here that this is a solemn is assembly of fear of the Edomites alright <laughs> that is a solemn assembly of fear because Yahweh Shai is coming and he will be glorified he is not coming uh, uh, to greet them he said when he comes back this time he's not going to greet them as a man but an angelic power so we're talking about something that's far beyond Thanos, that's far beyond uh, uh, Dark Side or whatever his name is, that is far beyond Apocalypse. All right. The the the, the what's what, Yahweh Shah is coming with all glory and power, and he and he will get his vengeance. He has a vendetta against Esau Edom and the heathen, especially Esau Edom, and he's coming to complete it. All right. Read Second Ezra the thirteenth chapter. Kohaloi Hal Bashim Nawashai Bashim Rakakwadash Wa Ababa Ba Kwam Yasarala Shalawam.